Hey what's up guys, back again with another video. This time I'm going to show you how to quickly get input from the user so that you can gather, like you can ask them questions and stuff like that and then get uh, answers from them basically, get input from them. Um, so this is very useful for certain situations where you want to ask them a question like I said or you want to gather information from the user. I mean it's not really that advanced, it's just something you might want to be able to do in the future especially when we work with conditionals and stuff like that and maybe in games like very simple games you might want to ask the user a question on the console something like that so let me just show you how to get um, input from the user from the console so you want to do that um, well first what you want to do is store it inside of a variable and so we need to create a variable so for example let's say we ask the user for their age for some reason okay so we can do that by well first we need a variable uh, I put a var I forgot this is not JavaScript so we need a variable to store the age so we're going to do int age just like that and so now let's ask the user for their age. So we can get input by doing cin. And so um, now we do this um, right here. So the normal one for doing c out is like this, where you have um, the double, whatever these things are called, angle brackets or whatever. But whenever you're using cin, you would do it like this, okay? Like that. And then after that, you put the variable that you want to store the input inside of, okay? So age. So let's try this out and see what we get. So we're going to run this here. And the first thing it's going to do is have a prompt for us, as you can see here. Well, it's not loaded yet, I don't think. Okay, yeah, it's loaded. It's just waiting for us. So, yeah, it has a prompt here. It wants us to type something, so we can type whatever we want. Press enter, and then it ends the program, okay? Because we have nothing else here. So, let's like let's make it more uh, interesting, okay? So, first, let's ask the... Um, so, so first, let's actually ask the user what, they, what their age is. So, we'll do C out. What is your age? Question mark like that in line and so now we're gonna ask for the age and then on the next line it's gonna make the age variable and then after that it's gonna ask for the age um, from the input or from the console I mean and then after that let's um, show them their age let's confirm the age that they got so we know if it did it correctly basically so we'll do C out um, thanks oops not that thanks for giving me your age oh my gosh I can't type um, and then we'll do inline like that, and then we could do C out again. Um, you are, you are age years old, just like that. So we should just repeat back to the user what their age is once they gave it, um, gave it to us. So we can just know if they did it correctly, okay? So let's see if that works. And... Boom, so now it asks, what is your age? And we'll say 45. And it says, thanks for giving me your age. There you are 45 years old, okay? So that works perfectly. That's exactly how we want to do it. And so one cool little trick here, um, well, let me go ahead and run it for you. So if you want this to look better, you might want to have the prompt or the input thing on the same line as the question. So you can do that simply by getting rid of the inline here because we know that inline flushes the console, flushes the output so that it moves it to a new line. So instead of uh, making it into a new line, we can keep the input question on the same line as that one. And then once that's done, it's gonna flush it basically. Okay, so let me see, or let me show you. So we're gonna rerun this. And let's try this now. Okay, it's running. Now let's say 17. And it says, thanks for, uh, thanks for giving me your age. You are 17 years old, okay? So that works exactly how we want it to. And so that's it. That's pretty much it for um, gathering input, but um, one cool little thing is that you can uh, gather input of multiple, you can gather multiple inputs on one line of code basically. So we can get, um, so yeah, let's just create two variables here. We'll do string race and then string, uh, string race and then string gender. Okay. And then we can get the input of both the race and the gender on one line of code by doing C in race gender, just like that. So what it's going to do is ask right after another what the race and the gender is of the user, basically. So before we do that, let's actually ask the user specific, so they know what to input. Of course, when I ask for them, uh, ask them for the input. So we'll do give me your race and gender. Okay. And so we'll put the we'll put a sem or a colon right there in line, just like that. And then after that, once we get the input, we can uh, repeat it back to them so we can see that it worked correctly. So thanks. Oops, we need a uh, parentheses here. Or quote, I mean. Parentheses, quote. I can't even think correctly. It's three in the morning. Four in the morning. So, um, thanks. 
your race is then race and your gender must be a just like that okay so that's just repeating back to them like I said so let's go ahead and run this and see if it works So it says, what is your age? So we're gonna make up a number, 12. Thanks for giving me your age. You are 12 years old, give me your race and gender. Um, my race is gonna be um, alien. And then my gender is gonna be pink. Thanks, your race is an alien and your gender must be a pink, okay? So that's how that works. Um, as you can see here, there's probably many different uses you could think of for using input here. In the future, we can do something like we can ask for the user's age. And if the user is above 18, then we can take them to the porn website. <laughs> just kidding. But um, yeah, just stuff like that. We can check in. Well, next episode, we're going to start learning conditionals, like if statements and stuff like that. So you'll see exactly um, some examples of how you might use this. So, so uh, stay tuned for that. And if you have any questions about what I showed you today, just ask a question in the comment section below. I'll be glad to help you. And we have a Discord link in the description also. So make sure you join our Discord and hang out with us, ask questions, whatever you want to do. And finally, all the code from today's episode is going to be in the description also, so click the link and bookmark it for future use. And yeah, so if you like this video, leave a like if you want to see more, subscribe, and peace.